It becomes so much easier when we work in groups. People are on their phones and have these false senses of connection with their social community. But ceremony is has always been an integral part of our society. And so, but it's up to us to get to the place where we're ready to accept that help, to make it safe for people who come from all sorts of backgrounds, who identify as all genders and races. Final piece that really shifted everything in my body was surrender. Coming back to that place where I am, you know, it's like that feeling of someone holding you as you float down a river. That's ultimately the support that's always available to us from the universe and from the earth. Mm -hmm. But it's up to us to get to the place where we're ready to accept that help. So the despacho is a very sweet ceremony. And after sitting in it for an hour or two as we work through it and that energy grows, you start to carry it with you. The despacho is then wrapped up and either burned in a fire ceremony or placed within the earth mm -hmm. for slower eating. Um, it's, it's a food, it's an offering to spirit. And when you burn it in the fire ceremony, everybody faces their backs to the fire because Pachamama doesn't like to be watched while she eats. Mm. And it would be weird if you were in the middle of a circle and everyone was watching you eat while they're not eating. I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, so in essence, it's a, it's a prayer and gratitude ritual yeah. that, that is done for so many different energies or intentions. Right. Absolutely. And he said over a hundred of them that exist yeah. that, you know, really allowing and creating this group intention and this group, you know, kind of sense of gratitude and appreciation so that on that you're you're saying thanks and in and, and, and giving to Mother Earth, yeah. you know, and in return, you know, having that energy shift. Yes, absolutely. And it's it's something magical happens when you bring that many people together because being a shaman for me isn't it's not about being holier than thou or having something unattainable it's about really holding up the mirror for everybody that i work with and and realizing that we all have so much medicine to share so the despacho is a beautiful way for us to all bring our medicine and our healing ability because we are so much more powerful together than we are alone. And that's the direction we're heading on the planet and we all need each other. It's really amazing to see how quickly things can shift when you have that many people with a strong intention. Yeah. Groups and intentions, two minds are better than one and a group mind is way better than two. So <laughs> I mean, keep on multiplying it out, right? Ah. <sighs> And so do you do a lot of despacho cer ceremonies? Yeah. yeah. Um, Throughout I, the city and things like that? Yeah, I, I do them on my own. I do them if someone's getting married. I, I do a despacho ceremony. Someone's being born. Wow. Someone's dying. Um, all the life changes. In all the, the life changes, yeah. Yeah, and then I like for the, the different forms and the different intentions. And... So do you do a lot of like individual work or group work or mm -hmm. kind of a combination of both when you when you do yeah. your work? Yeah, so about um, six years ago, I stepped into doing this work full time. And mainly that was one on one mm -hmm. shamanic energy work and coaching. Um, but more recently in the past year or two, I've been really pushed by my guides to get out there and and showing me that you know my destiny is more for this group work and so many clients are coming to me looking for tools and for training and wanting to do this work themselves and ultimately that's why I'm here um, to bring as many people to their own power as possible and uh, you enjoying this so far did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button that 
and one, you know, and one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. It becomes so much easier when we work in groups. The, the age of the lone wolf, at least for me, is over. Um, mm. So now I'm transitioning into more ceremonies. In a Wachuma ceremony, a San Pedro cactus ceremony I did recently, uh, spirit guides told me, you are the master of ceremonies. So I'm listening to that. Yeah. Ultimately, that's very true for people on the shamanic path. Ceremony is so important. And mm -hmm. it's something that is, has fallen away from our society. As many people stop feeling comfortable in churches and mosques and uh, organized religion, it's just statistically true that those uh, that less people are showing up. Um, yeah, no, you see, like churches are constantly like the buildings are being sold. I see them on like you know, constantly looking at commercial real estate and other things, and you know, up on the market for sale, for lease, this, that. You see it, you know, and that means that there's less people going because more and more are closing. Yeah, absolutely. But when we erase that from our culture and our society, then other things, it, we start to realize the connection that that created also yeah. being broken mm -hmm. and that people are on their phones and have these false senses of connection with their social community. But ceremony is, has always been an integral part of our society. And so I'm feeling very called to bring that back into the world and to make it safe for people who come from all sorts of backgrounds, who identify as all genders and races, um, ceremony knows no bounds. So there's a lot of opportunity to, you know, make it fun and creative yeah. and lots of cool things can happen. And bringing the community and that sense of hope and connection, not only and, uh, to their self and off, offline and off the connection to the social and all that, but connection to spirit, connection yeah. to something greater. That's one of the things that religious institutions have given people in society is like that feeling that there is more greater than their self and that belief system and that level of hope that, you know, as people are spreading away from that, that's one of the aspects too, you know, that is, that is kind of being harmed that people then start to seek start yeah. to seek because they feel that something's missing. And yeah. it's that higher spark, that divinity, that that sense of something bigger that they're missing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, you know, we may all call that thing something different. And that's perfectly fine, you know? Yeah, but that doesn't mean we can't worship in the same place or... Yeah, or come together and have that community and yeah. disconnect from maybe the online world for a moment and connect to the realm of earth people connection you know yeah beautiful where can people find you um my website is shamanrami.com i'm active on instagram at shamanrami i like to post little ceremonies that i do in my stories um mm. and so you can partake in those ceremonies just by watching the videos receive blessings and um, be a part of that community. I, I'm grateful for Instagram and for these tools, as long as we don't lean too strongly on them. Yeah, everything in moderation. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you, thank it's you for pleasure. having me. Yeah, it's been awesome. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on, you can do it. All right, until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.